What's up, Funko friends and family? It's your boy, Mick Fly, the hardest working man in pop tainment today. Coming at you again with another unboxing video. If this is your first time over here at the channel, man, I welcome you. I appreciate you stopping by. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a like, drop a comment, all that good stuff, man. I greatly appreciate it. Share the video out. You can share the video. Whatever you got to do, man, to help the boy get this exposure. We're currently on the road to 1K, trying to get that done by the end of the year, man. So if everybody sub up, we can go ahead and achieve that milestone. So, uh, today we got China on deck, man. We will be unboxed. Well, I already unboxed it, but <laughs> reviewing the um, China Funko Pop here. A lot of places got these um, Hot Topic and uh, several other places, 7 Elevens, and yada, yada, yada. Actually, ended up having this pop. You see, China here. For those of you who are unfamiliar, the first lady, or the only lady of D Generation X, was. China and you know I actually lived it when China was on the scene and you know doing her wrestling thing show the box for you guys um, just so if you're looking to cop one resale or whatever you know what you should be looking for um, unfortunately um, China passed away several years ago but um, her legacy still lives on through WWE fans worldwide and uh, that was one of the reasons why I bought this pop you know mainly to pay homage and to really give her her credit man she was a really big lady really strong you know what i mean and uh actually one of my favorite women to watch back during the attitude era if you know anything about the attitude era you know there was no host barred it was young wild and reckless <laughs> to say the least but uh boom you got the pop she's in her black leather outfit um this is the one of the I won't say the first, but a lot of pops don't have this much muscle detail as they put on her, but that's just a nod to her. Black leather, leather boots, hair in the ponytail, all that good stuff. Flipping around to the back. Yeah, not much to it, man. Short, sweet, simplistic. Comes with a stand. The stand actually fits. She ain't falling and doing nothing crazy. All over the place, man. Um, I got Triple H's and Shawn Michaels and all that. I wish they do like a DX set with Xbox, Road Dog, uh, Billy Gunn. That'd be hot if they did that. Or maybe they have that. I just haven't seen it. I honestly don't know. You know, I'm still fairly new to this whole Funko Pop thing, but boom. There you go, man. China in a nutshell. Who's your favorite wrestler, man? Did you rock with China or any of that? I've got the rest of these to come. I think I've already reviewed both Stone Colds. Um, I still got Drew McIntyre and Edge to do. I didn't buy Otis. Sorry. Sorry, Otis fans. But I didn't buy Otis. Oh, WWE Shop should have these as well. They got the Rock and Socko and uh, Rock and Stone Cold ring moment. I got to round up both of those, man. Um, it's going to be crazy. So this whole... This whole wave of WWE pops that they did here, man, I'm glad that they did it, and I'm literally buying all of them, except Otis. <laughs> Until next time, it's your boy McFly, man, appreciate you watching all that good stuff. I'll holler at you.